When Kundave set out to rescue Vandiyadeva from prison and send him on his way again, Vanati came in front of him. She bowed to the younger brat. She said, My dear. I have left you. I have some more important work to do. I will come after that. Go to the garden for a while. Don't just go to the stream side. Sister. I won't trouble you any more. I want to go to Kajumbalur, give me permission. Vanatha said. What is this, are you throwing thunderbolts on my head? What is your anger against me? What is your sudden affection for your birthday? There is no one as ungrateful as me if I am angry at you. No new affection is born on my birthday. What is my birthday without a mother and father? My mother once prayed that she would worship at the Kali temple near our village. She closed her eyes before fulfilling it. Don't you often faint? Maybe it's because you didn't fulfill that wish that makes me lie like this. You needn't go so far for that, I will send and ask you to grant the request. Not only that, sister. My great father is coming back from Ceylon. He will not come beyond Tanjore to Padayere. I want to be in Kajumbalar when he comes. I want to hear from him all that happened in Ceylon. What makes you so eager to know what happened in Sri Lanka? What is that you ask? Have you forgotten that my father attained heroic heaven in the Sri Lankan war? I didn't forget. That guilt is gone now. I don't think it's all over. The great Velar is hurrying back before the war ends. Are you going to ask him to go to Sri Lanka again and fight the war? That's why you want to go to Kajumbalur. Who am I to talk about such big things? I want to hear and know what happened. A.G.A. I see your mind now. You want to ask your great father about Pani Selvan's heroic deeds in the Ceylon War, don't you? Was that a mistake, sister? That's not wrong, but to leave me alone at a time like this is a big mistake. Sister. Am I going to leave them alone? They have so many friends like me, so many people waiting to realize their ideas and implement them. Have you even started talking like this, Vanathi? It seems that you are upset after hearing the news about my brother. Don't worry too much about that news. What can I have that they don't care about their brother, sister? Tell me the truth. Did you fall into the stream on purpose? Did you faint? Why do you want to fall? I fainted and you saved me as a warrior of the monkey clan. Don't you look grateful for the rescue? Not only in this birth, I will be grateful in seven births. Do you speak as if this world is over? I say, listen, Vanati. Don't worry in vain. I don't think Aroma's Ivarman is in any danger. I tell you the same thing I told the people gathered in the palace courtyard a while ago. Kaviri Tai saved my brother the other day. Similarly, Samatharajan should have saved him too. Soon we will hear good news. On what evidence do you dare say so confidently, sister? Something in my heart is telling me. If something had happened to my dear brother, I would have known it inside. I wouldn't be talking casually like this. I don't trust my mind, sister. I don't trust my inner mind. I don't trust my outer mind either. How come you're the only one who says it so decisively? A maze was appearing in my inner mind and outer mind for a few days. It appeared in my sleep and in my dreams. Even when I was awake, sometimes such a maze occurred. What is that sky? Their brother's face was often appearing in the water. It was as if he was calling me. Even in the dream, this illusion often occurred. Why do you call it a maze? Does it match the message we have in your imagination? If you listen to the whole thing, you will know what a mad maze it is. Did I not faint and fall into the stream? Then I went to heaven. There was a wedding ceremony. Marriage to anyone. I don't want to say that, sister. I don't really believe in what appears in my mind or what appears in my dreams. I've decided to believe from now on what I see with my eyes and what I hear with my ears. Vanati. What you say is completely wrong. 
sometimes what you see with your eyes and what you hear with your ears is sometimes false. What appears in your mind is definitely true. I will tell you many examples of this from stories and epics. I'll ask you some time later, sister. Now answer me. Vanatha said. Princess Kundave was just astounded as she wondered how this woman could have such courage so suddenly. Vanati. What is the hurry? Even though you have to go to town, shouldn't you leave after a few days? Now the whole country will be a mess. Shouldn't you be sent away with proper security? What am I afraid of, sister? The Palakuths and the four policemen who brought me from Kajumbalar have been sleeping here for so long without a job. They will take me back. Beautiful. You think I'll send you away like that? I am asking you very much, sister. I have nothing to fear. No one in this country will dare to do anything to Kajumbalar Vanati. And who does not know that I am the beloved friend of Ile Aprati? Give me permission for only one thing. When I go, I will go to the astrologer's house one more time and ask him something. I would like to. May I do so? I wish I could come to him too. But are you in such a hurry? No, sister. This time I want to see him alone and see astrology. Kundave puts her finger on her nose and wonders. The princess couldn't understand how this girl had become so stubborn in one day, in one jama time. She came to the conclusion that she could not stop her journey. She said, OK, Vanati. You can do as you wish. Make the necessary preparations for your journey. By then, I will release the valiant son of the Vanara clan who is in prison.